Hi, this is Rob Britt, and I talked to you just the other day about CLA. If you haven't checked out that video, you might want to take a look at it. There's some good information on CLA and the benefits that it can give to your body. I am uh, in the second week of my uh, Body for Life transformation. I've gone through this uh, a couple other times. First time being about 12 years ago, and that was real successful for me. And I am getting back to it, just uh, doing kind of an experiment to see how well that uh, Body for Life works for somebody who has been involved in fitness and exercise and nutrition and whatnot for a while. So anyway, uh, two products that I'm checking out specifically during my BFL transformation is uh, CLA and HMB. So I wanted to talk about HMB just a little bit. I wrote about it uh, on the allhealthnetwork.com, so you can go there and check that out if you like. And uh, there's a little bit of detail there, plus a link to a pretty good source of information on HMB, certainly much more detailed than I gave and more detailed than I'm given here. Uh, pardon me while I kind of read off the screen. Uh, I started taking that HMB because there's a lot of research that's been done on it, not just one or two studies, but uh, upwards of 11 studies that have all come to the conclusion that it's extremely good for you, helps with uh, building muscle, sustaining muscle during a um, transformation process, and uh, also has some other benefits that I really didn't know. Um, it helps build your muscles with the uh, because it aids in the synthesis of protein and also decreases the breakdown of the protein that you're consuming so those are two big things but uh, side benefits are that it also helps you with uh, your cardiovascular health it can lower cholesterol and can lower blood pressure so some huge things there uh, found the uh, quantity I was taking, which uh, they recommended taking four capsules in the morning and four in the evening, which uh, amounted to three grams total, um, was a little bit low for me because of my body weight. Now that's fine if you weigh like 170, that's about what you should be taking. What it works out to be is about uh, 1.7 grams for every 100 pounds of weight, or you can look at it as 17 milligrams. I think that's right. Let me look. Uh, what you should be taking is 17 milligrams per pound of body weight. So, for example, me, I'm just rounding it up, say uh, 200 pounds. Even though my weight has been dropping uh, 200 pounds, I should be taking about 3.4 grams per day split into two different segments. One taken right after my workout in the morning and then one taken with my evening meal. So, uh, you know, that's what I'm doing right now. And if you think, <laughs> I was pretty amazed. I looked at the pile of pills I've, I'm taking at this point. And I know some people have trouble taking pills and this might scare you. <laughs> the amount kind of scares me. I looked at it and I thought, geez, that's a lot of pills. What am I taking here? Um, works out that I'm taking 17 different pills. They're not all different. Some of them are the same. 17 in the morning and, or 17 in the evening and 19 in the morning. And I'm taking uh, two multivitamins, two multiminerals, uh, calcium, uh, general antioxidant. In the morning, I'm taking. Uh, 1.5 grams of CLA, 1 gram of fish oil, and 1 gram of flax oil, 25 milligrams of DHEA, 500 milligrams of L-lysine, and 1,750 milligrams of HMB, which adds up to 19 tabs. And in the evening, I'm taking all those, except I'm only taking 1,500 milligrams of HMB, and in the evening, I don't take the L-lysine, because that's a once-a-day thing for me. So uh, kind of works out to a lot of pills, 36 a day. But on the plus side, uh, I really am seeing some fantastic results with this workout routine already and taking these supplements. Everything on this list I was already taking except for the uh, HMB and the CLA. So that added a few pills to my pile. But 
it's uh, not that bad. I think you get used to it after a little while. You know, I started out very early in life. Uh, my parents believed in taking vitamins every day, so I was taking a one-a-day vitamin and uh, gradually worked up to, as an adult, taking uh, something better than that, which was uh, taking two in the morning and two in the evening. And now, after a lot of research and seeing some people that are in their 70s and beyond who also believe in the uh, power of supplementing your diet, I really feel that it's going to help me. I'm uh, 46 now, and uh, just this morning, somebody told me they thought I was 34 because uh, it was a teacher I had, and he, th he thought a classmate of mine, he had a story about, and I said, that guy wasn't my classmate. He said, oh, I thought you were blah, 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 and uh, anyway, just to say, I believe that supplementation really helps, helps to keep you young, active, fit, and uh, feeling good, and also is, uh, as they say, an ounce of prevention. So, uh, hope this stuff helped you. If you'd like to read a little bit more information on this, please visit www.theallhealthnetwork.com.